Okay, so everybody is always wanting me to post pictures or whatever when I make um, when I make sweets. So I'm doing it this time, and uh, what I'm making today is a um, blueberry buckle. So here you go. So what you need first is four cups of blueberries, and I'm just actually going through all of them um, and just removing um, removing the, the stems. While you're working on um, the blueberries, um, you need to melt one stick of unsalted butter in a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Okay, next I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sugar to the blueberries. Um, just to add a little bit of sweetness because sometimes um, blueberries can be overly tart. So I'm just adding a little bit of sweetness and then we're going to actually sort of semi-mash the blueberries. Um, I'm actually using a pastry cutter <laughs> to mash the blueberries. Um, and you don't want them to be like completely mashed, but you just want them to be sort of partially mashed. Maybe I'd say about, um, oh, about halfway, about halfway mashed. Okay, so there you can see they're partially mashed. They're not all full, it's not fully mashed, only about half, half so, but there's still a lot of uh, a lot of good juice, but there's still a lot of um, uh, a lot of the berries are still whole. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> moving on to the batter, and uh, I'm doing this a little different this time because this is my first time ever making a cooking video or a baking video. Um, so this is one cup of flour. This is one cup of sugar. It is two teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt, which is probably, I guess, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And so I'm gonna just whisk that together to get it all mixed up. And I'm going to add in one cup of milk, which I have added one teaspoon of um, vanilla to, vanilla extract. Mix that up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my uh, one stick of melted butter, which has actually gotten a little bit started to harden up again, but that's okay. So and we're going to mix this up as well. Okay, <clears throat> the butter has been thoroughly mixed into the batter, and now what I'm going to do is pour it back into uh, the skillet. Okay, I've got my batter into my 10 inch um, iron skillet, uh, cast iron skillet, and I'm going to now put the blueberries uh, on top. And uh, when I do, I'm gonna try to keep it sort of in the middle so that there's a bit of edge of, um, of batter uh, around the outside of the skillet. So there I've got my blueberry mixture back in uh, to the batter in the skillet, and the last thing I'm going to do is sprinkle about, uh, I don't know, a teaspoon or so, a couple teaspoons of uh, white sanding sugar um, all over the top. It's uh, going to uh, go into an, uh, a 350 degree oven for about, about an hour until it's uh, golden brown. Here on the bottom of my oven, you can see our foil slop protection. <laughs> Which is important. So there it is, 350 for about an hour. Okay, so once uh, you um, check out uh, the buckle and you test it with either a toothpick or a cake tester and that comes out clean, then it is ready for the oven. And there you go, check that out. Beautiful. And by the way, there's proof of why it's called a buckle, because the batter buckles up over the fruit. You're gonna to wanna to let it rest for at least 30 minutes before you cut it. Um, and then when you're serving it, you wanna serve it either at room temperature or um, a little warm.